Oh, hello everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net today uh, for my Bloomberg analysis. I came across this index called Smart Money Index and what you should know about it. Uh, it's all from a website called bullmarkets.co uh, and it's bull markets by fundamental capital. The name of the article came out October 25th, Smart Money Index, what you should know about this sentiment indicator. So there's three articles or yeah, three articles will go along with this. So I'm gonna read it out to you and I'll just give you my opinion in this uh, video here. Uh, the concept behind smart money flow index is simple. Dumb money trades between the first half hour of each trading day, 9.30 to 10 a.m. All I guess this is gonna be Eastern Standard Time, same as New York, and the smart money trades during the last hour of each trading day, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So, the smart money index is equals yesterday's smart smart money index minus the market gain or loss in the first half hour of the trading day plus the market's gain or loss in the last hour of the trading day. Calculate for many markets accompanying indexes, including the S&P and the Dow. The reason that this came up was because on one of my Instagram posts, this uh, came up as one of the number one uh, views and likes in, in within a few hours. So I just thought, what is this? I've heard about what smart money is and what dumb money is, but this is all created by uh, Bloomberg, or the index created by Bloomberg. So I'm not going to get into too much. I'll give the links in my uh, quant analytics section if you have access but uh, it, it is dropping, and uh, it's quite interesting to look at. Uh, so here we have a couple other notes I should read off. Confirming the trend, if the U.S. stock market rallies and the smart money flow index trends higher at the same time, that's seen as a bullish sign, a smart money confirmation. If the U.S. market falls, smart money flow index trends lower at the same time, it's seen as a bearish signal of smart money confirmation. Bullish divergence if the market goes down but the smart money flow index trends higher, that's seen as a bullish diversion for the, the market. If the start, start market goes up, smart money flow index trends down, that's seen as a bearish divergence for the stock market. Now, I'm not gonna get into, as I said in the details, but there were some other links here uh, Right here, uh, as an example, it says you can look at the smart money flow index's entire data. So I'm going to show you that link here and what they use, uh, as well as uh, I haven't gone through everything. But this is quite interesting, and I see this all the time on Bloomberg. So this led me to another article, medium term, sorry, medium long term model, Free market research analysis, we trade solely using our quantitative trading models. Okay, that's just promotional. Um, so let's see, what, what are we talking here? So we have a medium long-term model. Uh, let's see, medium long-term model yields on average 43% yield when traded on the S&P's three-time leverage ETF, 30% per year when traded with the SSO. S&P two-time leverage and 14.7% year when traded on the SPY, which has no leverage. So here is the signals, sell and buy signals with the orange and blue. Um, I'm not gonna get into that, but this is what I really like, the free data. Here are the various series of free data that we provide. Now you can get this pretty well anywhere. Um, conference board leading indicator, NFIB, small business optimism. I, I can get, I do the same thing. ISM, ADP, Consumer Confidence, Case Shiller Home Price Index, NAHB, Housing Market, Conference Board, Consumer Confidence, Citigroup, Economic Surprise Indicator. Now we have here uh, Market Data, Smart Market Flow, Smart Money Flow Index, which we have, obviously S&P 500. S&P 500, uh, Total Return Index, Dow Jones, Russell 2000, Gold, Gold commercial hedgers net position, uh, treasury yield, index put call, equity put call, total put call, SKU, S&P 500 daily, weekly, and monthly PE ratio. 
and seasonality, S&P 500 seasonality, gold seasonality, USD seasonality, and oil seasonality. So I kind of am along in those, but th these are interesting data sources as well. So I'll, po I'll post these again on my analytics section, um, but I thought I'd put this video out just to sort of introduce you to this uh, index, which is quite interesting uh, for those that uh, in the industry of Wall Street follow, most likely. We shall talk to you later.